Hello everyone, thanks for being here. Hmm? Uh, I'm going to give you a presentation of why you know uh, that we can summarize very quickly as system administration for everyone or self-hosting for everyone. Uh, this conference is going to be a bit technical, uh, maybe a bit more than the other one, but um, I was making a conference for four of them. Uh, I hope it's going to be okay for you. Uh, very shortly, me, uh, I'm a software developer, I'm not a system administrator, and uh, maybe a key point is that I'm coming from a quite practical background uh, in regards to uh, privacy, net neutrality, and this kind of thing. I've been involved in La Quadrature du Net, a citizen group that fights for those questions during three years. Um, but before explaining you why you know, I'm just going to give you a very short history of what our way you know started, because I think this is the best way to understand why is it like that today. Uh, in 2011, uh, Bud Bud installed his own mail server, and uh, Claude, who is hidden here, uh, wanted the same. Uh, Claude is not a system administrator, but Bud is a system administrator. They realized that replicating this kind of configuration was very hard and very boring at that time. So, like every good developer, Claude started to program a solution. Uh, and they made the first release in 2012, and uh, starting at this point, feature this started to grow and grow and grow. So from emails, we went to XMPP, to managing several domains, to application, which is just free software uh, for web that you install, and you think like a WordPress, MediaWiki, DocuWiki, and those kind of things. Single sign-on, etc., etc., etc. But uh, it's important to know that also this kind of people, and in France, we live in a very politicized context uh, regarding uh, this kind of development. There is a lot of organization that you see, some of them were present today, uh, and the government has been very aggressive against this kind of thing, uh, against internet. So self-hosting, surveillance, um, privacy is a political context for France in the free software community since a long time. And Wynost has been developed in that context. But what is Wynost? Uh, for you, I guess, uh, most system administrator, Wynost is going to look like that, or a key interface. Uh, this is the admin interface for Wynost. Uh, you can see a, a part of the feature I just cited for you. You can manage user. Every user is going to have his own email account by default. Several domain, install application, Backup is integrated, so you see this is really like the kind of common system administration things that you do. Uh, this is just to show you the list of applications that we got. Uh, so we get a solution for most of the common quite use cases that you get on the, on the internet. Not all those are here. Uh, so the list is not very interesting right now, but just to give you an idea, calendar, wiki, on cloud, we just moved to next cloud, file sharing, forum, this kind of thing, chat. Uh, and just to give you an idea on how easy, to, how easy it is to use it, uh, this is just the app installation of an application. You just say, I want to name it like that. I just choose a domain of the domain I got. Uh, domain and subdomain are the same thing. <coughs> and I just choose a path of installation and after it's custom option for the application. And you just click install and that's done. Uh, and just some advanced feature that we got, uh, just to give you an idea again. Uh, diagnosis, monitoring is very simple for now, firewall, the kind of common thing that you find in system administration. And last but not least, for most of the user, uh, for which we get signal sign on, so you sign only once, and you get a nice interface with big button to get to your all application without having to log again. Uh, so that's why you know. And before going like, uh, in the next subject, I just want to rephrase it like that. Wynost is a thin layer on top of system administration operation that you do most of the time. Things you were going to do by hand are now done by Wynost, and Wynost is extensible if you need to. Um, and this is both for the technical user that want to modify things that are not appear on the way we make things, up to the other kind of user uh, that aren't technical um, expert in this kind of situation. We got uh, several users that just never launched a terminal to use what you know. Uh, they still got a tech friend in case things go wrong, but I get several, for example, Puyu was doing the talk on uh, Framasoft, never launched a terminal to manage his what you know server. 
Uh, now I'm going to dive a bit into the core for you know how things are working for you to understand since we are at first them. Uh, one of the key points for you know is that everything you do on the web admin interface you can do on the command line interface. This is just a very simple example, domain listing, so all the domain that I get on this application. Same thing on the key, uh, key interface, you got a command that is called why you know, why you know, domain, list of command, and here this is just list. And uh, you have all those operations, so you are not trapped in the web interface. You can do things from the command line interface. And uh, that's done because the way we program Oyenos is extremely simple, actually. It took like a bit of a very simple uh, web framework. We just define an en entry point, so this is the listing of all the domain, and we declare it on the other side as a REST API entry point and as a key interface. And that's all. And so we can extend Oyenos very easily because the design is very flat, uh, very orthogonal. Uh, just to give you another idea, uh, those are all the module for you know that are just simple Python files with simple function definition in them, and that gives you a list of operations that you can use after. So that makes a very, very simple architectural design and a very extensible one. And uh, to continue in the architecture, just to give you again an idea on why, how why you know is made, uh, in yellow, this is the thing that we make. In green, this is the interface of the user. And what you notice is this. This is the code I was just showing you. This is a simple Python thing, simple code that is going to manage your server and make the operation that you ask him to do. Uh, so you know, two entry port, Python key interface, REST API. So for the user, this is two kind of operation. And the single sign-on has been designed as a Lua uh, Nginx module. Uh, so for Nginx, you can extend it pr programming in Lua. So you are uh, convinced that you will get every request that comes to your server. Uh, so this is a very good guarantee of uh, having an efficient SSO. And every uh, application, depending on the configuration, has a request filter by the SSO. So we are fine with that. And the SSO is made using LDAP, like everyone. And every user in this database is going to get a mail and an XMPP account. Um, and to continue to give you an idea on how Ionos is made uh, regarding application, uh, some people understand application as package, uh, like Debian package, but that's around the same thing at all. Uh, application is more like a layer on the top that gives things like configuration, installation, removing, upgrade, and this kind of thing. And again, why you know, uh, we choose a very simple design for that. Uh, an application is basically a JS manifest.json in which you declare your application, so name the kind of thing, and you list the argumentation that you want to receive at the installation of the application. I hope this is big enough for you to read. And you get your manifest JSON, you get a script folder, and in which you put several shared scripts. Install, remove, have a mandatory one. The other one are optional, but are recommended. Uh, since once you modify your application, you want to make upgrade, and backup restore are very cool too. Um, to dig a bit inside of it, uh, this is how we work, so the uh, installation application uh, interface I've just showed you before. Uh, so you know name, domain, etc., and this kind of thing. Uh, what they kind of manifest JSON before, and your install script is just going to receive this kind of thing as bash variables. So to say it again, why you know, if you are a system administrator that knows how to install by end an application, WordPress or this kind of thing, this is extremely simple for you to make an application for why you know. You just need to run some very short commands like, I want to register this domain name inside my Inos. And that's all. After it's the classical things you make, git clone, uh, use your own Nginx configuration for this application, etc., etc., etc. So again, uh, main point of you know, thin layer on top of admi system administration, easy to use, easy to extend. Uh, so just, I told you a lot of the feature already, uh, but on the one that I haven't talked about, uh, we now have Let's Encrypt Integration for domain. Uh, we offer DNS for uh, free domain if you don't have anyone. Um, we have uh, advanced feature for people that want to modify one well So we have things that we call region conf, so for regeneration, regeneration of configuration. So if we saw that you modify a configuration that we take care of, we're not going to override it. I just told you, you it is the diff of that. 
Uh, same thing, we got hooks. So for every operation, or good part of the operation, you can call script before or after if you want to uh, extend what you know host. And again, if you don't want to do any kind of thing like that, you don't have to. Uh, we also have firewall, file to ban, and uh, we uh, try to, uh, to be quite good as possible on security. Uh, backups, some more monitoring. As, as you can see, uh, code being very extensible, things are growing and growing and growing. Uh, so this is the slide on which I talk about the thing I don't talk about because it's not the most technical part, uh, but this is very important for us. Uh, this is hard to count, but we can estimate that we get between 1,000 and 2,000 users from very technical people to not very technical people, uh, from people that just manage a group of their friends uh, to people that just manage their own server. Um, the community is very friendly and we really like it. Uh, we want to um, give more power to this community, to allow it uh, to, uh, to contribute more to YNOS, to be involved into YNOS and to give feedback to us. Uh, this is the thing that we work on right now. Uh, we get 20 official apps. Uh, this is growing. Uh, there is 63 community apps uh, that are written, declared as being working uh, for a total of a double. Uh, things are growing because we met uh, a lot of work on the application. Again, this is really easy for people to make applications. They want to involve the community to be able to add the things they want to. Uh, we are a collective. We don't have uh, any chief, uh, any leader, things like that. We are self-organized. We have our own rule that we return together. Uh, we recently made continuous integration for application to guarantee that when you got backup and things like that, things are going to work after. Uh, we made a huge, huge list of tests for that. Uh, this is our, our, our recent work on this side. Uh, we also increase, uh, introduce app level, so level of quality for application, because application are good, a uh, big part of Wynos, but not the only one. And we wanted to give both for our user an indication of what they can expect from an application, and for our developer of application, a roadmap to follow and something that is motivating. They can just win level, and when they reach level six, they can propose the application to be official. Uh, yeah, our community gather in a forum, an XPP chat room, and uh, this is quite active. We have translation, but not enough translation, so if you speak a uh, thing over than French and English, please come. Uh, we got German, that is quite okay, but need a, li a little bit more of love. Same for Spanish, same for Portuguese, and every other language that you want. Uh, there is Hindi too, but I think the people that was working on that stop. Uh, and sadly, for a lot of initiatives started in France, uh, things are a bit hard to extract from France, because French people speak a very bad English, uh, even worse than me. Um, so yeah, if you come to Wyanos, uh, expect French. Uh, that's not a disease, uh, but expect this kind of thing. We try to, uh, to make it more open for other people, but this is a work that takes time, uh, especially because we touch, uh, we reach pe people that are not <coughs> extremely technically savvy. Uh, so those people are not the people that are going to speak English very well in France, uh, but still we are very open to other kind of community. Um, just to tell you, uh, why you know, as I've told you, is a thin layer to make system administration way, way more easier. So we are connected with a lot of other projects. So first one is the next talk that I'm not talking about. Uh, this is basically how to distribute what you know is in, in, uh, with hardware, a bit like Freedom Box, but not exactly like Freedom Box. Uh, the Federation of Associated of IP, that was a previous talk. Some people are looking and say, hey, maybe we can use what you know to give you a package to create your own ISP very easily. Uh, from Master Tel Chaton, uh, this talk has been done before. Uh, Chaton is the collective of people that are making uh, hosting of free software. Uh, on the mailing list, like at the beginning, I saw one people on free that was saying, oh, I'm using Wayunos, so I think, uh, think I'm moving in that direction. Wayunos, uh, Framasoft is also talking about Wayunos as a way to move out of Framasoft and to replicate Framasoft for you or a group of friends. Uh, <laughs> things are at the beginning, so it's in discussion, this is not guaranteed right now, but uh, to give you an idea, that's why I now start to look a bit like someone of a core component on how we can uh, make this kind of thing. Uh, so installation, Debian, and you download a script, you launch a script, ISO, Raspberry Pi, Linux, this kind of thing uh, you can expect. Uh, and the thing we want to do is anomalous. There is a lot, a lot, a lot of things to do. Uh, so we need help. 
uh, we ended up in a lot of subjects. As I've told you, uh, we got a very friendly community. Uh, we try to be a very friendly team, not um, having fun doing that. We are all volunteers, we're not here to kill ourselves, but we all believe this is important things to do. Um, as I said, backend is Python, Lua if you want to work on the SSO, frontend, HTML, GS. If you know design or UX, uh, this is the kind of thing where you can make a good impact. Uh, application, I just saw you, Bash. Uh, security, if you like security and code review, I have part of the code I want people to look at. Um, infrastructure, uh, we have a Debian building tool chain, that is something that is not very easy to endure, so if you know this kind of thing, we would like to. We have some Ruby code running around, so if you like Ruby. Um, and community again, community translation, documentation. This is the kind of the 20% that we, our developers, are not able to do. We do the other 80%, but those are the last 20% that make a real difference for other people. And we really want uh, to make a difference for other people. So if you like this kind of thing, join us. Uh, we are really open to that. And uh, yeah, we got a beta testing, so if you want to test, uh, the beta looks more like uh, not really a beta, but just make sure that in your super special head cache, things are not going to break, uh, because we make a lot of code review, a lot of testing before merging anything in the beta, so it's not that much like a beta. Uh, and just to finish, here's a link of the things that might interest you. Uh, we get a developer XMPP dev room, um, so if you want to join us, just come and ping us. And those are the other links that might interest you. Thanks for your time. Uh, if you have any questions. Ooh, fine. Yep. So do you plan to make your set of tools uh, Debian packages at some point? Uh, no, not right now. Uh, so do we want to make our tools a Debian package? So the core of Wynos, so Wynos core and main interface and all those kind of things are Debian package. Uh, we, are on, we got our own Debian uh, repository and we build things ourselves. We haven't planned yet to be integrated fully into Debian uh, because it's not the kind of thing that the team currently is able to handle and not maybe the kind of thing that we want to do because we have a very short release cycle right now. Uh, every two months, three months, something like that. So that's not the kind of thing we want to do right now. Maybe later. Yeah. Yes? Um, what's your strategy for backups? Do you try to push it on the cloud or on USB devices? Or how, where do you want to put the backups? So what is our strategy for backups? Backups is actually a very complicated subject. Uh, right now, we only generate a zip file that you get with all your things. Uh, this is not optimal. Uh, right now, the tool that everyone is using for making backup is called Borg, Borg Backup. Uh, we plan to integrate it directly into your Wynos. So, you know, this is a backup of a SSH with the duplication, encryption, and this kind of thing. Uh, very well made. Uh, this is the idea right now. Uh, but backup, you know, backup is not that hard. Restoring is very, very hard. Uh, that's the very, very... You know, everyone look at the GitLab uh, uh, first call uh, last week. Uh, so this is the kind of thing that we need to think a lot about and make a lot of experiment to get it right. Uh, but yeah, uh, so that's our current strategy right now, and we're working on that. Has anyone got another question? Yes? Um, what uh, an application? What? can be the dependencies of an application, like I can write it in any language? Uh. So uh, what is the dependency for an application? Uh, so right now it's just executing a file. Uh, so technically you could write it in another language than in Bash. Uh, we choose to use Bash script by default because this is the easier way for people to enter a commit application. Uh, we got prototype to launch Ansible to do application. So it's quite extensible. Uh, we are open to this kind of discussion. Uh, so just come if you want to make uh, this in another way. <coughs> yes? If I already got an uh, email server on one host and then go server on another host, and I want to integrate things, uh, would it be hand hand to do that with uh, you know host? So Could I uh, install it on one server mm -hmm. and make it manage uh, software on another server? So the question is, uh, can you use Wynos on one server and manage another server with it? 
Uh, no. Right now, Wynos is a really thin layer to do the common things that you would do. Uh, we uh, have a shitload of things to do, and this is not the kind of thing that we are looking right now, but, you know, things are open, so if you want to do this kind of thing, just come in to talk to us. Another question? Or? <coughs> yes. Is there any roadmap to port uh, uh, from a service application to the lowest uh, application? So the question is, is there any roadmap to port uh, all the application that Pharmasoft has been uh, promoting to Wayanos? Yes. So there is actually a roadmap in red mind saying, yeah, we want to do that. Uh, <laughs> we already got quite a lot of percentage of that. Uh, I can try to look at it, but I don't know if this is going to work. Uh, and this is red mind, and red mind is not always very happy. So application issue. Uh, but this is a real one, um, yeah, so we got, we are here, we got uh, 13 applications on, on 31 uh, right now, uh, and we really want to make, uh, to put all application of uh, Framasoft inside where you know, and Framasoft is also interested by that, uh, and they want to uh, give one uh, half day or one day, half day or one day. Yeah, per week uh, to Luke, who is not here anymore, which, who is the system administrator, to do this kind of thing. So yeah, when that's, that's one of the ideas. Uh, if we manage to uh, synchronize with Framasoft, that would be, uh, you want to replicate Framasoft at your place, you can use what you know for a small community. Yes? How do you estimate the number of users? So the list of applications that you saw at the beginning, uh, is just uh, is stored in a JSON file on our server, so I just took the log on Apache and just take like two days and just uh, yeah sort unique on the IP addresses, and that looks like a uh, 1,600 and something like that. But things is really uh, moving another way, and we're not really interested in uh, spying to our users. It's not really the kind of thing we want to do. Yes. Uh, my question is a bit. Uh context of the previous question, yeah. if I already have uh, something running on an uh, IP address or on a uh, host, mm -hmm. and I install Unihost next to it, will it make a virtual host for, and can I also use multiple uh, SSL certificates? Uh, so if, if I understand correctly, is the question is, is it going to make a virtual host? Uh, and is it going to fight with the already existing... Um, Yes, I think that it really depends on, so is the way you going to fight with my already existing installation? Uh, there is quite some chance it really depends on what you've made. Um, but for example, if you were using Apache, you can just proxy Apache uh, beyond Nginx because we use Nginx. And you just have to declare things in the SSO to say just to the SSO, just don't take care about that. So there is a way to put Wynos in it. Uh, but this has been thought at the beginning to not take part of your whole system, but just make a first installation after you customize it. Uh, but if you, if you want, we can just talk about it, see if it's possible. Um, yes? You, uh, when, when you provide services uh, in the well, you know, uh, do you uh, pre-configure uh, the, 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 the services and the tools uh, on, the, on the security level? Uh, and uh, if so, uh, what is the governance? So the question is, do we add an additional security to the tool uh, we package in Wayanost? Uh, so this is a let to the package developer. Uh, we want, uh, so we, have, we are writing right now the uh, specification on how you should make a good application. Uh, in this kind of thing, yeah, we said we want uh, good security. Uh, but for now, those are common classical Unix practice, so one user per application, one database per application, uh, read-only files for PHP because uh, PHP. Uh, you know, this kind of thing. So we not we haven't went full crazy with Aparmo or S Linux or this kind of thing. Uh, for example, uh, there, is, uh, there is a discovery that uh, a cipher is uh, dangerous. Uh, is there somewhere, some, some response uh, provided by you know, uh, in this case, uh, if something uh, dangerous is, uh, is uh, if there is an, a serious issue, a serious vulnerability, <laughs> Is there a unified way uh, to, 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 
to, uh, to have the information and to allow those uh, users who are not uh, specialists to, to react? Yeah, uh, so very, very quickly. So the question was actually if there is a uh, server vulnerability in one application, how do we inform our user and how do we handle the situation? Uh, so there is a feed right now saying, oh, there is a research security information, you should upgrade this package or this way. Uh, we have a right to, uh, the right to write, to modify every application. Uh, they are maintained by some people, but once there is a security issue, yeah, we make the modification as soon as possible. Um, sorry, time is up, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm supposed to be a development manager too, so you can't allow this for me. <laughs> Thanks, everyone.